Good afternoon. We're standing here on Edward Road on the southern side of Haywards Heath. I'm about to show you around this rather lovely little detached chalet bungalow. It's got two bedrooms on the ground floor. It's got another bedroom on the first floor. And there's a great big loft space you can convert to put a second bedroom upstairs or a big bathroom. You'll notice it's been re-roofed. It's been very well cared for, but it is now at that age where some modernisation is required. But Edward Road, if you don't know it, comes down from the Withelsfield Road. So literally just at the top of the road, you've got St James's Lettings. To the left of that, you've got a little Pets Corner and a Sainsbury's local store. So very handy for your local shop. Um, follow around Edward Road, you can work your way around into Ashing Ground Road. So a great spot. Um, the family have owned this property for many, many years. As I've mentioned, it's been really well cared for, but does now need some updating. Something they've never bothered with because they've never been worried about it is they haven't got a driveway, but you have got plenty of potential and there would be, I can't imagine any issue with getting planning consent to put a driveway in either on one side of the garden or even both sides of the garden. So you've got a very pretty front garden. The back garden, as we're here around in the mid-afternoon, you'll see the sun's out, um, is south facing. So the sun is up directly above us at the moment. So come and have a look around. Uh, there's access via either side of the house to get into the garden, which I'll take you down there in a minute because it is, really is quite lovely. So come inside. First things first, great big entrance hall. You'll see, as you can see, stairs up to the uh, first floor here, but a great big entrance hall. I mean, this is big enough. You could add a desk under the stairs there if you need a little office, and then use the rooms as you wish. But this one having the fireplace, you'd very much call the living room. So the front room there, that's overlooking the rear gardens. Which I'll take you. The gardens are in separated by all these hedges, but it's a lovely big back garden. All the original panel doors as well, I've noticed. So it's got a bit of character. You've probably got some really nice floorboards under these floors as well. And then again, depending on how you're gonna live in the house, this is bedroom three. So nice size double bedroom there. Bedroom two. With a whole bank of wardrobes on this wall as well. And that's overlooking the front garden. Next door, you've got the downstairs loo and shower room. This has all been refitted only in recent years. So a very nice shower. Got one of these great big corner shower units here. That's all been redone. So that's in very nice condition. And then the kitchen, again, spacious big kitchen here. There's various appliances. We're actually uh, selling the house on behalf of the um, family. So some of these appliances might, might be up for grabs. Got a gas boiler and a hot water tank in this cupboard. I won't take you outside just yet, but you've got this rear lobby and this handy little outhouse very much the old cold store, but uh, again, lots of potential to extend it or you know knock that over and build out. And then come upstairs. This is where we have got a bit of potential. So up here on the landing, you'll see, we've got a big bedroom at the back. So a nice size double here. Again, that's overlooking the rear gardens. Really nice gardens. And we're backing onto the houses in Windsor close here. So a good bit of space there. The leaves covered there, I noticed. So there must be storage either side. And then just let the camera acclimatise, but you've got this great big loft space at the front. Good ceiling heights here, which if you put a dormer in this roof line, you've got yourself potentially a big bedroom. I don't think the camera's gonna lighten up to that. But there's a great big space there. So there's potentially two more bedrooms up here, or certainly um, make a big bathroom to have a fantastic bedroom suite on this level. So that's the inside. Let's take you out the back. Now, geographically, we're on the southern side of town. Um, Edward Road runs between the Wivelsfield Road and uh, Ashen Ground Road, or Vale Road. And you can walk to several schools from this side of town. You're also close to Ashen Ground Woods and very easy to walk up to the hospital from here. So the back garden, it's in sections. They're very much keen gardeners. So this was, would have been a very much allotmented garden at some point. Got the greenhouse for anyone who's a keen grower. One area of lawn here. And this nice paved terrace down the bottom end. Catching, I guess this is catching all the afternoon sun. And you've got a shed down there as well. You come around the back here, you can actually see that both the properties either side of you are houses, which would indicate that you'd like to think you shouldn't have too many problems with planning permission if you wanted to put a proper first floor on. I mean, there is potential to put an entire first floor onto this house, this bungalow, and create maybe a three to four bedroom detached house. But in this location with a garden of this size, this could make a fabulous family home. But if you're thinking of downsizing and just want a bungalow really, this would work for you as well. 
So there you go. That is number 59 Edward Road for sale through Mansell McTaggart in Haywards Heath. Hope that gives you a pretty good impression of what we're selling. If you'd like to have a look, please get in touch. It is for sale with vacant possession. And do follow us on our YouTube channel as these videos are all live on there way before these properties are on right moves. Do get in touch. Thanks for watching.